Hey guys, it's Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk about the Krebs cycle. Yes, we all learned about it in middle school biology and we remember that it happens in the mitochondria, which is what? The powerhouse of the cell. Well, here's why we call it the powerhouse of the cell because this is where gen energy is created. And look, I'm not gonna break down the Krebs cycle into all 43 million steps where there's like the oxidation of the acetyl-CoA and all of these chemicals. Here's the nuts and bolts of what you need to know clinically when you are taking care of the patient in front of you. That's it. We are asking for oxygen. We're asking for glucose. Our body metabolizes those once they, it's down to the mitochondria, right? It metabolizes it and it comes out with 36 energy units. So it's 38, but we use up two in this process. But again, that's part of the nuts and bolts. But that's all you need to know when you're taking care of the patient in front of you. And if you understand that process and that our waste products are gonna be water and carbon dioxide, that's gonna help you understand the importance of things like capnography and the sympathetic surge, right? Why the glucose goes up on our trauma patients, right? Because they're, they're trying to create more of that energy. So the liver goes here, have some more glucose so you can make energy to fight or flight, whatever the danger is. Now, there are some uh, situations where we don't have that oxygen, right? Poor perfusion, any kind of shock state, uh, hypoxia, anything that prevents the oxygen from getting down to those cells to get into the cell for the mitochondria to use it. And then we have this process. pretty simple. We're missing that oxygen component. And so can we still create energy? Yep, we sure can, but it's much less effective. Look at how many energy units we're getting here. It's only two. Technically it's four, but again, we used up two in the process. So it's a net yield of two. And what's our waste product here? Lactic acid. So if you understand these two processes, the cellular metabolism, the aerobic with the oxygen, anaerobic without, that's going to help you take care of the patient in front of you and understand things like your mechanical ventilator settings and capnography and your metabolism and what fever does to your patient, all kinds of things. There's so many practical applications. So you need to know the Krebs cycle, but not every single little step of it.